Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. Today, I will show you how to use dynamic region growing in Mimix. In this video, we're going to explain the dynamic region growing tool. This is a tool that combines thresholding and region growing in one step. It's based on the connectivity of gray values within the specified range of seed points of your choosing. If you have a good data set, it is a great tool for segmenting out blood vessels, airways, nerves, and other similar structures. It is one of the few tools that you can use to initiate mass segmentation. To start, open up the Segment tab and select the Dynamic Region Growing tool. The first thing you will have to do is crop the boxes to the region you're interested in. In our example, we want to segment out the abdominal aorta, so we're just going to crop it to that region. In the dialog box, there are a couple of different options. If you want to try to fill in any holes within your mask segmentation, you can select the option Fill Cavities. You can also select the option Multiple Layer, so that it includes all the layers in the dataset. You can see that as you move your cursor around, the seed point value changes based on what pixel value your cursor is currently over. Once you choose the seed point, it is going to grow out to any of the connected voxels that are within the deviation of the chosen intensity value. Let's go ahead and just left-click in the middle of the aorta. We'll turn on the 3D preview and you can see that with this simple process you get segmentation of the blood vessels. You can change the deviation of the intensity value either before or after the effects. If you decrease it, it may not grow out quite as far. If you want, you can also hold down the control key and left click to place multiple seed points. This may be necessary if it didn't capture the vessel you need with your first seed point. 